Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about college fraternities. They're elitist. By their very nature, frats encourage members to consider themselves to be separate from those outside the organization. That exclusivity is one of the most attractive things about being a member of a frat to many people. The pull is so strong that prospective members will subject themselves to all sorts of abuse and humiliation, occasionally resulting in their deaths just for the chance to be a chosen one and to enjoy the incidental benefits of that, like having the chance to network with the most influential members of the student body, faculty, and alumni, and of course, to revisit the abuse they suffered on a whole new crop of pledges. Membership has its privileges. They foster entitlement. Frats not only condition members to think of themselves as separate from non-members, but also to think of themselves as superior. This has been one of the major concerns about frats from the very beginning. Phi Beta Kappa, the first Greek letter fraternity in North America, was criticized for valuing privilege over equality and democracy back in the 18th century. Today, Phi Beta Kappa no longer functions as a social fraternity, but other frats that came after it picked up those values and passed them along to their members, class after class, generation after generation. And that's too bad, really, because I think those values are partly responsible for some of the darkest aspects of fraternities, including, for example, the fact that they're rape dens. Awareness of the problem of sexual assault on college campuses has been at an all-time high in the U.S. this year, with colleges and universities, state legislatures, and even the federal government all taking steps to lower the incidence of campus rape. I have a suggestion that might help. Ban frats. Statistically speaking, members of fraternities are more likely to commit rape than other college students. Most gang rapes are perpetrated by members of fraternities, and most sexual assaults involving college students that occur off campus are committed at frat houses. Entitled young men, objectified young women, and the increased sexual aggression, impaired communication, and loss of self-control that come with excessive alcohol consumption are not a good combination. This issue alone would be enough to justify doing away with fraternities if it were my decision to make. But it's not. And fraternities certainly have their defenders. Though, if you ask me, their excuses are weak. There are arguments in favor of frats. For example, they allow members to bond with each other and form friendships that can last well beyond the college years. They allow members to network and make connections that can help them in their careers post-graduation. They teach members how to function within a hierarchy and how to respect and carry on the traditions of an institution. And some frats are service-oriented and focus on organizing events that are to the benefit of the entire college community. And those things are all well and good, but I can't help but notice that none of them require fraternities. And when I weigh those pros against the cons, namely the fact that frats are rape-enabling asshole factories, I can't help but come to the conclusion that it's really a shame they still exist. The stupidest thing about college fraternities is that they're even still a thing. How many hazing deaths, sexual assaults, racist club songs, and shitty presidents of the United States is it going to take before we get the fucking hint? Some colleges and universities ban frats already, including some of the most prestigious schools in the U.S. Amherst, Bowdoin, Middlebury, to name only a few. It's not unheard of. It's possible for campus life to carry on without being dominated by abusive, sexist, elitist, anachronistic organizations that afflict the integrity of their schools and compromise the safety of students. Here we are, a decade and a half into the 21st century, 240 years into the history of the United States as a nation. It is well past time that we rid our higher education system of fraternities and all the bullshit they carry with them. The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.